All right, this is One Last Midnight. Welcome back to another episode of Astroneer. Astroneer is about to put out their next update on March 31st, 2021, called Missions and Big Power. And you're going to see some changes if you start a brand new game. The biggest one is this new missions log interface. The mission log gives you missions, and it also gives you rewards for completing the missions, such as this one, just landing on the planet. When you do, you'll get a nice little toast notification saying that the mission was complete. And the next little mission will be active. You can easily track the mission by selecting it and then hitting the checkbox in the corner to give you the tracked mission. The mission log is not a gated activity, meaning you can do whatever you want to do inside of Astroneer. Doing the missions or not doing the missions is completely up to you. There is one specific item that you can only get by completing missions or being in creative mode, and that is the cute RTG. The portable RTG, which provides one unit of power and can be put on your backpack so that you can travel wherever you want to and not have to worry about power. And if you haven't seen it, it's these little guys right here. These are the cute RTGs. It produces one unit per second. It can go on your backpack or can be attached to any single slot on any platform. But these items cannot be crafted. Otherwise, the mission log offers a brand new, fun, and interesting way to play the game. And it's great for new players to help guide them through the Ashenir experience. To be able to see your track mission while you're on the go, you can use the action wheel, which is a new feature that's added into this Q1 update. You can activate it using a key on your keyboard or pressing a button on your controller. And you can hover over and look at the mission log. You can not only view the mission log, but you can also look at the compass, which is a new feature, and the research catalog. The compass gives you a nice new compass interface, allowing you to see not only where you're currently located and where special interest items are located, but also will allow you to see beacons that you place down, your hab when you're far away from it, so that you can easily now and safely leave your home and be able to find your way back. The compass is a fantastic addition to the game for those of you who are always getting lost or even worried about just leaving because you didn't know how to find your way back home. This Q1 update offered a big change to power. Now we have a large wind turbine which produces 10 units of power per second, a large solar panel which produces 8 units of power per second, and an extra large wind turbine which produces a whopping 17 units of power per second. But with the big power, there also comes a big change to power generation values. All of the items that did produce power have now had some sort of tweak or value to either the recipe or the output values of the power generation. Most of the power generators have had their outputs increased but then, on the flip side, there has been a change to the power consumption. And most items that consume power have now been increased and actually will consume more. Giving you a balance to the additional power that you're getting from these new power generation changes. Along with the new action wheel changes, the reason why this looks different from the last time I showed it is because I'm in creative mode and I actually have the drone and the terrain tool menu added to the action wheel. But the normal items are the research catalog, the compass, and the mission log. There has also been a change to the emote wheel. So now there are eight slots for emotes, allowing you to have much greater variety to express your character's personality. In this update, we'll also see a return to the XO Salvage Initiative, which was a limited time event that was introduced last year. For those of you who weren't able to participate, this is a great way to get your salvage throwback bundle, which includes a mask, a hat, and a palette. There are also two new items that you can get in this initiative, a wired hat and a going green palette after you achieve certain reward points. 5,000 for the wired hat and 8,000 for the going green palette. You can continue to keep shipping off things on the EXO platform and you'll receive rewards at the end of the event including cute RTGs. There is a completely new customization menu for your character so that you can check out your character as you're building his or her outfit. It allows you to rotate around 
so that you can view your character from different angles while you try out any of the character customizations. You can also save outfits so that if you want to get back to your outfits quickly, you can by hitting equip or you can overwrite or delete your current outfit. I really like the outfits functionality. You have the ability to save 31 of them. So, I mean, I think this is really cool. The only thing that I would change on this is to give me the ability to name my outfits. But other than that, I mean, this is pretty sweet. Another cool addition to the Q1 update is dedicated server support for PS4. So those of you who have PS4, you can now play with Astroneers on any of their platforms just by joining either their existing dedicated server or hosting your own. And finally, a really cool feature that was not in the patch notes but has been added to the game is the ability to make programmable music. The canisters now allow for you to have a horn on top, which they always did. But if you attach a button to the canister and activate it, it'll now make a specific sound based on the resource that's inside of the canister. Check out this cool video from System Error highlighting this neat little feature. Hey, but that's not it. For those of you who are musically inclined, you're gonna have a field day with this. So this is how it works. Specific resources give off specific sounds and the number of resources in a specific canister gives off a particular note. So as you can see on the chart here, if I had a medium canister with compound, it would play piano C3. So for those of you who love Astroneer and also know how to create music, man, you're going to have a field day with this. I can't wait to see the music that comes out of Astroneer from this awesome new feature. And finally, there is a bunch of bug fixes that was made in this update, and I'm not going to read them all. I'm going to leave a link in the description below so that you can uh, pull it up and read it for yourself. Uh, us content creators have gotten early access to this, so I will be live streaming this update shortly after this video airs. All right, well, that's it for me. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, hit that like button. If you're not a subscriber, please subscribe. Love to have you in the community. If you want to follow me on any of my social media, you can find the links in the description below and make sure to hit that notification bell. That way, you know when I go live and when I post new videos. I'll talk to you soon. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.